Hello everyone. I am Gaurav, a Zoho Books product expert. Today I am going to show you a quick demo of how e-invoices are generated and pushed to the KRA portal from Zoho Books. For integration or to use the feature of e-invoicing in Zoho Books, one must buy KRA approved Type C ETR device and also need to ensure that VAT settings is configured in Zoho Books. Once you purchase Type C ETR device, please ensure you have the following details Sender ID of the device, middleware device serial number, and also please ensure you have enabled port forwarding for the device to get the public IP address. Once all these details are ready with you, you are good to go to enable e invoicing feature in Zoho Books. Let me show you here on how VAT settings is enabled as a first step. From the dashboard of Zoho Books, all you need to do is click on settings gear icon, click on VAT. Is your business registered for a VAT? Please mention yes. You need to provide your valid PIN number. Here we have given an option for you to validate your PIN. When you click on this validate PIN option, it will redirect you to the KRA portal and where you can have a PIN checker to check whether your PIN is validate PIN and you can enter it over here. Also, if you are having a trade outside Kenya region, you can select this checkbox and enable trade with contacts outside Kenya. Then you have VAT registration on date. Please provide the VAT registration on date. And finally, it's generate first tax return from date. So this is the date which is very much important. Please ensure that you provide the correct details over here because this date decides from when you are going to generate your first VAT return report in Zoho Books. And also from this date, all the transactions will get included in your first VAT return report. So please ensure all these details are correctly provided. And finally, you can click on save button to save this settings. By this, your VAT settings will get enabled. And then you can click on settings gear icon once again. You will have an option called preferences. Under preferences, you will get an option called e-invoicing. This option will be available only when you complete your first step by enabling your VAT settings in Zoho Books. You can click on e-invoicing. By just clicking this button and providing few details, you will be able to communicate with KRA portal. And let me show you what all the details that you need to enter. So as I mentioned, with the device, you will get the IP address after doing a port forwarding. So that public IP address has to be entered over here, e-invoice IP service IP. You will get the sender ID along with the device, ETR device. You need to enter the sender ID over here and also middleware serial number. This information also you will get along with the device that you can enter it over here. And finally, you need to provide a concern that you will be sending the data to the middleware who is going to communicate with Tim's tax server. So once you provide the concern, you can finally click on save button and by this, your e-invoicing feature will get enabled in Zoho Books. So here you could see that e-invoice connection status shows connected. It means that our Zoho Books is ready to connect with the device, which will be pushing your data to the TIM server for the validation. Now, finally, once the connection is successful, Today, I'm going to discuss about two scenarios. One is a scenario where the push is successful and it is pushed to the KRA portal. And there is an another scenario where the push is failed due to certain reasons. So let me start this. Under sales, you have invoice option. You can click on plus new to create a new invoice. You can select the customer provide invoice number, invoice date. These are the mandatory information. Let's say I'm dealing with a service. Finally, I will click on save as a draft. So 
So invoice got created successfully. And here you could see that uh, we have a status, something called push status. It will show you an option ready to push once you save it as a draft. And also you will get a button where you can just click on it to push it to the ETR device that you have with you. So one, once you click on push to middleware, yes push. Here you could see that the push status, initially it was ready to push, now finally it is pushed. So it means that my push has got successful to the ETR device and there is no error in this particular transaction. That is the reason why we got the QR code generated. So only when you push it to the uh, particular device, uh, you will get the status as pushed. And if there is no uh, error, the QR code will get generated. Let me show you the QR code. So here is the QR code which has middleware number. This is the device number, middleware serial number. And also you will get an option to scan this QR code, which will connect you to the KRA portal and you can verify the document from your end. So this is a invoice which got successfully pushed to the KRA portal and uh, this is how it works when your push is successful. Now let me show you an, another example where there is a chances of uh, the invoice created to get failed. For example, again I'm going to create a new invoice Selecting the customer. And here you could see that I have selected the item as goods and it is uh, cotton and I'll be having zero rate. Finally, I will just click on save as draft. Here again, the status shows ready to push and I have an option to push to the ATR device. I will click on push to middleware, yes, push. So here you could see that the push got rejected. Since I have mentioned it is a cotton and it is a zero rate tax, it must have HS code. So this is the reason why uh, it has got rejected and it is throwing an error for you. So you can just click on OK after knowing the reason. We also have an option where you can click the reason by clicking on view reason option over here. And here you could see the status ready to push was the initial status. It got rejected. So what you can do is you can update the invoice once again with the correct details and try pushing it again. So let me show you how that works. I will edit the invoice. Since HSN code was not provided, I'll just click on update. And in Zoho Books, we have given an option where you can click on search icon to search for the HSN code directly within the application. So it is a cotton. So I have the HS code uh, over here. I'll just copy it from here. And it got updated. So with this here, you could see that the HS code got up updated automatically from the system. And finally, what you can do is save it. So invoice information has been updated right now. I'll try to push it once again by clicking on push to middleware. Yes, push. Here you go. Here you can see that the transaction has got successfully pushed up after updating the HS code. And here I got the QR code generated with all the necessary information where, as I said earlier, you can scan the QR code, which will connect you to the KRA portal and you can verify the document. Please, uh, you, know, you need to uh, note that once invoices are pushed to the uh, ETR device, you cannot edit or delete those transactions. This is something that you need to keep in mind. Now, we also have given an option where you can filter those transactions. Here, when you scroll down, push to invoice. So we have a certain uh, filter where you can filter the transaction for, let's say these are the invoices that are already pushed to the uh, ETR device. Let's say I want to see uh, the invoices which are yet to be pushed. Then we also have an option yet to be pushed for e invoicing. I can filter it and here you could see that there is a one invoice that is yet to be pushed because it got failed uh, due to certain reason. 
I can just click on the uh, reason and I can find the reason why it got failed. And again, I can make this correction in the inverse and push it again to the ETR device. Also, I have an option uh, where it will also show me failed, why uh, certain invoices that are failed and certain invoices yet to be pushed. So this is how you will be able to configure e-invoicing feature in Zoho Books and you can try it out from your end. I hope the session was useful. Thank you so much, everyone.